Allie James, both accurate statements, very relaxing, very therapeutic. And with me, I have Justin Steinmetz. He is the owner of the farm that actually owns all of these goats with his wife, Lauren, right behind him. Good morning, Justin. Good morning. How are you doing? You know, I'm, I'm good now that I got goats again in my arms. I get anxiety when I go home at night because, uh, or at the hotel because I'm not with my goats. I, I bet, I bet. <laughs> I mean, you have 61 goats here. You remember every single one of their names, they, which is amazing. So talk to me about this exhibit. It's new to the farm show. Um, so this is a baby goat snuggling. Uh, it's just is exactly what it's called. I mean, we have a big area where everyone can just come right in. <laughs> it's cough, go ahead, get it out. Um, they can just come right in and pick up any goat they want and stay as long as they want uh, and snuggle on some goats. Or if it's feeding time and the lucky, there's only seven here that get the bottle because they're hungry right now. Uh, there's only seven here that get the bottle. And if you're the lucky one holding one during feeding time, you get to do the bottle feeding. And do you want to talk about who this is that we're feeding? So this is Little Hope. She was, uh, she's our miracle goat. Uh, I back, actually brought her to life uh, during labor. Things went really wrong. And uh, yeah, she had a struggle for her life and she made it. She pulled through. So we named her Hope because everyone needs a little bit of hope. Um, it was her two month old birthday yesterday. She is dripping. She is chowing down on this milk. <laughs> um, so she's changed our lives because <laughs> so it's not always peaceful snuggling. There's a lot of jumping and uh, potential goat yoga happening as well. Yeah. So you get to experience a little bit of everything, but uh, the idea is the snuggling and the therapeutic value that the goats give to you while you're. Uh, just hanging out here in the environment. You get the laughs. Yeah, and, and you also have some mama goats that have the possibility of giving yeah, birth. Yeah, we brought some mama goats who are ready to go. Uh, we had the vet come yesterday and check one of them. Her name's Boots. Uh, she has an online following, too, of uh, angel watchers waiting for her to give uh, give us some babies. That is amazing. Her name's Boots. We're thinking, like, flip, flop, uh, flip and flop for the babies. Or... I love that. <laughs> well, you definitely have to keep us posted on that. Allie, James, we're going to send things back to you in the studio. I know it's pretty hard to not stare at these little cuties, but we have to go. Kaylee, you, you talked about it's being this being relaxing and therapeutic. I mean, truly, they are really active right now. I mean, this looks like James Crumble's nightmare. I am terrified for you right now. <laughs> Um, well, it is feeding time. They have just woken up, so they are very excited. Once they're fed and they're all relaxed and, you know, the day kind of goes on, they're definitely oh, yeah. more snuggly. It's a very snuggly. calm, snuggly environment. There's, a mo there's moments in the day where every person sitting along these bales has a goat plopped in their lap, and the goat's just chewing their cud, just enjoying the day, and the people are just snuggling. Thank so, yeah, you. it's feeding time. Yes, feeding time it is. Well... Thank you so much, Justin. We're going to keep welcome. feeding these goats, and we'll see you in a little bit, <laughs> Allie and James. Hey, we get like that when we're not fed, too. Yes. So. Thank you. Yes.